so now we need to create uh, uh, we need to uh, create a flooding nation mapping in Hecras for the same basin so first of all we need to uh, we have already created one we just uh, want to tell you how to do it so first of all you need to go back Code, you need to assign the projection okay so if you don't have projection file then you need to go you need to click on spatial reference organization all right then you just need to click on EPASG then you need to search just UTM 44 zone which zone you are going to work or you are working so we are working in WGS 34 UTM Zone 41. Just click on that and click share the file. file. We have already done it, but we are trying to change it. And come back and then select the file. Uh, file. Then uh, just see we have downloaded in the that folder. Just select your file. Then okay. Right. Then, uh, then you need to select. Uh, you need to enter your terrain. So, so select this one. And where is your arc <coughs> map? Uh, file is the arc map in Farida. Right. Then your file has been created. So now you need to just add your project site. So this is your project site. This and then. Yeah, and uh, then you need to just create the geometry uh, So first of all, you can just need to import your basin over here. Import uh, features. Then you just need to see where you have deployed. Okay, there was one. Yeah, yeah this is the submission too. Just import. All right. To import your uh, reach over here as a break lines, right? Then go just here. Uh, that is this one, right? Like you can see over here. So, first of all, you need to define uh, edit to define a uh, you know, we are just taking 50 by 50 cell size and close. Then you need to go away. Uh, uh, with a glance you just need to define half size of your cell as you define in uh, perimeters then uh, one for spacing you can just consider as 7 alright uh, let's click on that computer point then you need to create generate computer points with break lines for all messages just click on that ok alright so So as you just click over here and uh, just validate the geometry. Then again, 
so no error is found. Um, and save. And then just close it. And just there. Come back and then open. Open geometry. So there's no error. So then you just need to just need to give boundary condition. So first of all define the boundary condition. This is the downstream condition for the basic 13. Okay. So we are not going to provide any upstream boundary condition because there is no inflow in the our surface. So that's that's why we are not going to provide any upstream condition. We have just provided uh, downstream boundary condition. All right. And then uh, let's save. And then click on unsteady flow data. Okay, because we don't have any renal river, so there will be no steady flow. We just need to provide. Uh, downstream so for the downstream is we just need to provide normal depth normal depth is thus we need to provide the uh, slope so let's see that so click control then see <coughs> And uh, we have already calculated, and as we have shown, have shown to you, so there is there is no depth zero point zero two. And uh, we need to just put the height to graph. We just need to put the capacity as you know that we have four meter four meters time interval of the data interval so that's we need to 
uh, this you need to select this uh, number of ordinate maximum number so ordinate so 300 so we are just in the 300 numbers of ordinate is there it may be less so but this but that uh, your ordinate should be uh, uh, larger uh, or more because uh, you don't know how many numbers it. if you need to just paste in excel then you will find out that there is 279 or something so this 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 is This is the fixed time start. You can just define over here, or, or it will uh, read as you define in your run model, uh, in your running model window. So then uh, that that will read automatically. So that's that's not the issue. you need to run your model on this people and I see it's just like you as you said as you provided your control specification in your hypothesis model the same as you need to provide as to have Then it should be ten to ten so that okay then run okay so it will take long time so when it will complete so then we will just see the result right thank you